Math genius accidentally becomes a god in a virtual game world after cracking an AI. Kenji is a math genius who works as an Oz moderator with his friend Sakura. The world of Oz is a virtual reality game made with AI that can cause damage to the real world. Sakura asks Kenji to go to the countryside with her and pretend to be her boyfriend because of her family. He agrees to do it since he had a crush on her. Kenji goes to bed but can't fall asleep because he doesn't even understand how he ended up here. While thinking about it, he gets a message on his phone, which is a bunch of numbers he doesn't understand. He quickly writes them down, trying to solve the equation, and finally cracks the code in the early morning. He sends the answer and receives one back immediately. It's a jack-in-a-box that scares him. Later in the morning, the kids come to wake him up and take him to see the news which shows a picture of him, believed to be a criminal. He, apparently, hacked into the world of Oz and vandalized everything, destroying multiple systems which now prevent many individuals and corporations from functioning properly in the real world. He tries to gain access to his account in Oz, but he can't. He asks Kazuma to use the computer but still can't gain access to his account. He gets a call from Sakuma, and he tells him that he didn't break the internet. Sakuma lets him know about the email he received which is a 2050 security digit algorithm that is supposed to be impossible to decrypt. Kenji realizes that he decrypted the code because he thought it was some random math problem. Sakuma gives him a different avatar so that he can figure out what the problem is. He finally logs into Oz and meets his avatar which looks possessed and turns the other avatars into monsters. He confronts it and asks it to stop but gets punched in the face. Sakuma tells him to run but he wants to talk it over, getting himself jumped even more, literally. Kazuma's avatar, King Kazuma, a popular fighter in Oz comes to his rescue. The imposter, identified as a hacking AI called Love Machine, flies away. King Kazma follows and catches up to him but the kids in the house come to cause a ruckus. They're playing cops and want to arrest Kenji, the criminal, causing Kazuma to lose his grip on Love Machine. Love Machine eats two accounts, leveling himself up and changing his appearance. He stands face to face with King Kazma and packs some punches on equal footing. The kids are now interested in what is happening on the computer and try to get in on it too, causing King Kazma to lose his stance and get knocked out by Love Machine. After kicking the kids out of the room, Kenji manages to distract Love Machine and runs away with Kazuma's avatar. A few minutes later the family finds out that Kenji is a wanted criminal, and that he's not even what Natsuki said he was. He's just some high schooler slash internet mod, shocking the granny and the whole family. Kazuma and Kenji are still talking, but the family comes running into the room to get a hold of him. Granny confronts him and Natsuki about their lies, but the family quickly realizes that the backstory Natsuki gave Kenji belongs to Wabasuk because he is her first love. Kenji gets arrested by the second cousin, who doesn't even know the reason for the arrest. He simply hates Kenji. Before going, Kenji thanks the family for their hospitality because he never got to experience such a thing as his family is always away, and he's always alone. Meanwhile, Love Machine begins to mess with everything, preventing people to get to where they need to go, causing traffic congestions and electronic malfunctions. The family relatives can't arrive in time for the birthday party, and the train stations aren't working either. The sewers and water lines are also messed up. Love Machine is ruining as many things as possible. The traffic congestion causes Natsuki to go get Kenji back to the house. Sekuma tells them that Love Machine can hack any account and cause mass destruction not only in the virtual world but the real world too. Granny realizes that this is a war and people will die if it continues. She tries her best to contact all the emergency services, relatives, and associates, motivating them to try hard at helping as many senior citizens as possible, something that inspires Kenji to do something too. He tries to get the code to access the Oz admin building. Meanwhile, Sakuma rallied up a list of the people who cracked the security code and finds that Kenji is innocent because he got the last letter wrong. Things start to calm down as soon as sundown and the family gathers around the dinner table with more guests than before. But things are still dire for about 2 million users who can't access their accounts yet even though World of Oz is back on. Kazuma thinks that if people band together and try to fight Love Machine, they may win but Wabasuk doesn't think so because he was the one who created the AI. Although he just created it, he doesn't own it because he sold it to the US military. Everyone is on their feet now, angry at him for his impudence. He tries to explain but the others want to fight him, and they get stopped because Granny is watching. Wabasuk asks her if she understands what he did. He just wanted to make money, and the money he stole funded the whole thing. Basically, he made the family broke, worked hard, made a huge profit, and now wants Granny to be proud of him. 
because they got rich from the money he stole. But Granny is not having it. She picks up a spear and threatens to kill him. Wabasuk stands up and pushes her back. He walks away because he shouldn't have come back. However, on the next day, the family discovers that Granny is not waking up and she was pronounced dead. Everyone is upset because the doctor was monitoring her health through the Oz system, something that isn't currently working, because of a certain someone who created that AI. Natsuki is beyond upset and can't stop crying. She asks Kenji to hold her hand because she's in pain after losing her uncle and her great granny. Meanwhile, the number of people who can't access their accounts continues to increase. The family set each other's duties to prepare for the funeral, but Kazuma's grandfather refuses to bury granny before taking revenge on the AI. He wants to make sure nothing like this ever happens again, and Kenji supports him. Kazuma's aunt shuts him down quickly because he's an outsider and can't have a say when they deal with their problems. Kazuma also agrees to revenge and take down Love Machine. Two more people join, and they devise a plan. Kenji calls Sakuma and asks for his help in their plan. Everyone brings in everything they've got from their work to help. A supercomputer, a ship to power it up and a band antenna module from the military to get no lag internet. The first step is for Sakuma to challenge Love Machine as King Kazma, and everyone gets ready for the fight to begin. Love Machine accepts, arriving from the sky, and he immediately attacks. But King Kazma is stronger than ever, and he whoops Love Machine so much that he flies away to escape into the clutter of avatars. King Kazma manages to find him and land a kick. Love Machine resorts to controlling stolen avatars to help him crush King Kazuma between brick-like buildings. When he gets ready to attack the trapped King Kazuma, but Kazuma's grandfather's avatar comes to help distract Love Machine, allowing King Kazuma to move to a designated spot which is a building where Sakuma traps Love Machine. He rewrites everything in the system, transforming it into houses that he uses to lock Love Machine. Kenji tells the uncles and the others to come in and blast the AI with water to drown him. But suddenly, the supercomputer starts to overheat because Natsuki's cousin removed the ice they used to cool it off. To cool down the room that has the granny's corpse, the buildings shake as Love Machine breaks the system apart from the inside. He emerges as a giant black monster covered in over 400 million avatars he stole. He grabs King Kazma and chucks him over the wall. This infuriates Kazuma so much that when the cousin comes in to tell them off about playing with Oz when it was the cause of Granny's death, he punches him in the face in anger. The computers suddenly start a clock countdown to two hours and show live images of nuclear reactors around the world. The news report that a satellite that was in space is now headed down to Earth and could hit any of the nuclear reactors shown on the feed when the clock reaches zero. Natsuki and the others come in running to hear about how the AI thinks it's playing a game and not trying to destroy the world. They never imagined it would do this and now people are going to die. The only way to prevent this is to take back all the 400 million accounts that it has stolen in two hours. Kazuma quickly gains control of King Kazma and tries to go back to the fight with the gigantic love machine and his many avatars. But after being bombarded with them, King Kazma is left powerless. A sudden light appears around love machine and he eats King Kazuma, leaving Kazuma feeling defeated and crying, and everyone around with no hope for a better tomorrow. Kenji tells them that they should try something and not give up so easily, but all hope is lost with everyone else. Natsuki finds a way to contact Wabasuk, but he doesn't want to come back. She then tells him that Granny is dead because Oz stopped working. He's taken aback. She begs him to come and say goodbye and he immediately turns and races back. He arrives as soon as Granny's final letter is read to the family. He goes and pays his respect, and joins the family for a meal. There's literally a satellite almost falling into their roof, but they have time to enjoy a peaceful meal. Who cares about the world, the house, or their lives, right? They discuss ways they could defeat Love Machine while at it and Kenji suggests they play a game with it. And with an hour remaining on the clock, they get to Oz's casino area to beat him with it. Natsuki appears in Oz and bets all her family accounts if Love Machine beats them in a game of Koi Koi. Love Machine accepts the game, and they begin. Natsuki quickly wins the first round and Love Machine transfers 26 accounts to Natsuki. They continue and Natsuki wins as many rounds as possible that she gains over 300,000 accounts from Love Machine. Meanwhile, Wabasuk tries to wipe out the gained accounts GPS from Love Machine's database. With only 30 minutes left on the clock, Natsuki gets distracted, and Love Machine wins the round and takes back all the accounts that she had won. She only has 74 of them remaining. 
which she can't use to place the minimal bet because of insufficient funds. She starts to panic but then receives one German account giving her permission to use it to place the minimum bet of 75 accounts. Suddenly, many accounts from around the world flood the area, amounting to 150 million accounts. Everyone offers their accounts, putting all their hope in Natsuki to beat Love Machine and save the world. Natsuki's avatar transforms as it levels up, and the minimum bet increases to 10 million accounts. Natsuki confidently plays and wins almost all the accounts that Love Machine has except for two, stripping off Love Machine's monster armor and causing him to explode on the spot. Everyone celebrates the win, but the clock is still counting down. The live broadcast zooms in on the family house where the dog is barking outside, showing that the satellite will drop on their house. They quickly scramble to alert the neighbors to get away as they also try to get away from there. Kenji tries to check the asteroid's GPS using Oz's admin eternal clocks to create an error in the asteroid's flight data to change its course and save their lives. He tries to enter the repair password, but Love Machine has changed it, so he must solve yet another code algorithm. Everyone cheers him on because he's a math genius. He starts to solve it quickly and reaches the wall of the repair system, but Love Machine is still inside Oz kicking him out, so he solves the code again and again. Wabasoop tells Kazuma to log in and distract Love Machine. The family's avatars help King Kazuma get up and fight him while everyone around the world watches the whole thing. With two minutes on the clock, Kenji fails yet again to get to the repair system. He tries one last time and before Love Machine can kick him out of the system, King Kazma punches him in the face, buying Kenji enough time to transmit the error and derail the asteroid to hit just outside their gate in time. The wave caused by the impact destroys everything, shattering the nearby buildings and almost destroying their house. To celebrate their final victory, the family sings a happy birthday song for Granny at her funeral. Things end with a nosebleed for Kenji when the family urges him to smooch Natsuki as Granny watches through her funeral picture, laughing with everyone. Watch this next video. See you on the next one.